In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop the glitchiest offense in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to tell you that we upload videos every single day that can help people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. We can help you get better on offense and on defense. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release whenever we stream, whenever there's an update, maybe a change in coverages and things like that that you need to be aware of. We try to stay on top of everything schematically and really help you guys become the best players you can be. Now, we're talking today about the single back deuce close play, and specifically the play bench. And the reason we're gonna talk about this is I was watching Noah up next, and we all know that Noah is one of the best defensive players in the community year in and year out. He was playing a money game and the guy was running single back deuce close. Now I've talked a lot about single back deuce close on the channel. I've even given out a free mini scheme on this. And I've talked about how good this formation really is. Um, and the fact that it's got great balance, it can run, you can pass. Um, there's a lot that you can do with rolling out of the pocket and all that stuff. And so, you know, it's a really good formation. Noah basically couldn't stop it and um, didn't have an answer for it. To be honest with you, I didn't have an answer for it at all until I got into the lab and kind of cooked up a little bit of a coverage scheme that I think you're gonna really enjoy. And this is kind of the foundation of some of the things that we got coming on the channel here uh, with our defensive guide coming out later today. So be on the lookout for that. If you want the latest updates about that, be sure to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and I'll let you know as soon as that defensive guide goes live. But what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna come out in the play bench and I just wanna talk about this wide side corner route. Really that's the better route of the two in my opinion. But uh, real quick, from a coaching adjustment perspective, I'm in the big nickel regime. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you're gonna see here, I'm gonna put the ball in your defense to swap ball. This means that if you're not clicked on the player, they're gonna try to swat it. Uh, I like that this year because there was a, I think it was a gridiron notes or something, but they talked about how the swap ball mechanic has been like basically uh, beefed up and the ball hawk or the play ball mechanic has been toned down a little bit. And I find that swatting the ball is actually a lot more effective in this year's game than trying to pick everything because if you try to pick everything, half the time they're going to score touchdowns on you because your cornerback's going to be, you know, basically beside himself because he can't jump the route. So I like to go swap ball. Um, the rest of this stuff is optional. I like to put these two on conservative this year. Um, there's an argument that could be made that if you put them on aggressive, you're going to get fumbles. Um, you know, I personally think that conservative is the best way to go. But here's here's really the the key tip here. And this is how you're going to stop this play. Your zone drops. What I like, to, I've talked about this a little bit on the channel before, um, leading up to this video. But what I like to do is essentially play match zone drop defense. And the reason I like to do that is because I feel like the the zones in match, whenever they're put into a zone drop uh, funnel. They basically, they don't play exactly like match, right? You're not going to see, when you put zone drops on the field, the cover four quarters is going to play a little bit differently. But they don't also exactly play like cover four drop, all right? We talked a lot about this in Madden 21, current gen, especially for some of our defensive guys that we put out on the 3-3-5 wide. The same is kind of true this year. And I'm finding that these outside quarter zones and inside quarter zones will really do a good job of reacting to crossing routes, and corner routes, and popular routes. Um, if you use match zone drops, okay? So I'm gonna use a matching, uh, a play that's designed as a match coverage, but I'm gonna apply specific zone drops to be able to stop some of the most popular plays in Madden 22. So that being said, you're gonna see here my zone drops, my flats are on 30 yards. Um, you can put these on 25 um, if you wanna be a little bit more aggressive, but I'm gonna go 30, okay? Just, I'm a little more conservative. Um, curl flats are going to be on five and the reason why is because they do a really good job if you put these curl flats on five yards they're going to do a really good job of jumping those out routes they're going to do a really good job of jumping the table routes which are so hard to stop and then for hook curls honestly i don't really know that this is the best for these to put them on 10 but that's what i'm going with right now um i haven't really seen that you know five versus ten is is, is better or worse uh, that's just kind of what I'm going with right now. Okay, but these two, I'm really confident you're going to get a lot of value out of those zone drops. So, uh, cover four quarters is the play that we're going to call real quick. If you're ever in big nickel, make sure if you look at the bottom left, you're going to see that I'm in the slot cornerback package. That is going to allow me to make better adjustments or at least just more common adjustments to a nickel defense. Okay, and all we're going to do 
uh, really simple is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to show blitz just like this. And then what I like to do, um, there's a couple different ways we can defend this. The first one's a coverage setup. The second one's going to be a pressure setup that you can use. Um, but let's talk about the coverage setup just a second. So uh, from a coverage perspective, we're going to shade our coverage uh, and we're going to shade our coverage down and then we're going to shade our coverage up. You're going to see that it's going to give us these cloud flat zones. Cloud flats are my favorite zone in the game for defending a corner route or a C route or a crossing route. I think the cloud flat is still the best zone for that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this defensive end here, Pierre Paul, and we're going to drop him into a seam flat zone, as you can see right there. Now, really important point about this defense. I would encourage you this year to please, 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 please blitz three people. If I've found that if you blitz two people, it's Pancake City for the run, number one, and this is a really good running formation. Or if they're not going to get pancakes against the run, they're going to have all day to throw the ball. So my recommendation is a blitz to, to blitz at least three. It's going to give your best pass rusher here, Barrett, a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Now, when I do this, what I like to also do is I like to take this backside slot corner. And I like to put him on a seam flat. So he's going to play underneath. It doesn't show. It shows you in a cloud flat, but he's in a seam flat. Trust me. And then the only other thing that I'm going to do on this backside, because this is the short side of the field, is if you're worried about the corner route, put Davis in a cloud flat. If you're not worried about the corner route, leave him in a deep third or deep quarter. Okay. And then you're just going to use her like the middle of the field. Okay. And I'm not going to use her anybody. I just want you to see the coverage. So at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is this corner route to square, which has been one of the best routes in Madden 22 since launch. You see that they can they can hit it, but it's basically running out of bounds for them to be able to get open. And then the other thing that I want to hit on is uh, with this defense is I want to show you real quick. I'm just going to set the defense up a little bit quicker this time, but I want to show you really quickly the out route to the to the tight end. So if I throw this out route, watch that seam flat, just take that away. Every single time it's completely bagged. There's no use in talking too much about the out route anymore. Um, as you can see there, it's completely bagged. Now, the next thing I want to do is I do want to cover the uh, corner route a little bit more in a little bit more detail and give you a couple of things that you can do. So um, basically one of the most important things I also think is to pass commit. Uh, the reason why, now this will make you a little bit worse off against the run, but it's really much better against the pass in my opinion. So, because if they run play action, your zones will actually go back to where they're supposed to go. If you don't run, if they, if, if they, um, if you don't pass commit and they run a play action play, I've had a lot of problems with my zones this year. So I like to pass commit at least unless they're just running the ball like every play. Okay. So I want to show you this corner route a little bit, uh, just a little bit more in depth. So we're going to throw it and I might be able to complete it here. I just want you to watch what's going to happen. So I'm just going to get a pocket, kind of throw, roll left, and you see that I can throw it out. Okay. So. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just like take like a 30 yard sack or whatever Just so I can show you this keep showing you these uh, this this concept. So I'm just gonna basically Give the ball to my back and then I'm gonna run backwards. Let's see if this hopefully this works just fine. Yeah, we'll just run backwards so You saw there I was able to complete it But what you might have also saw was that I, my defender was in a lot better of a position to play the ball Okay, that's step one. That's kind of part a of the tip now Part B of the tip is how do we actually lock it down? Well, what, we, what we're gonna do um, with this is we have a couple of different options, okay? The first one is we can go to a cover three buzz match defense. Um, actually, no, I don't wanna do that, never mind. We'll go back to quarters, okay? So we're back in quarters. And what you're gonna notice is this is a compression formation, okay? It's a compression formation, meaning that the, the wide receivers are in compressed. It's part of what makes the corner route so good because there's nobody outside, there's no outside leverage. So one option that you can do is just basically run this guy off the line of scrimmage, just like that. Essentially, you're just gonna bring these corners down, okay, just like that. And I find a lot of success this year in bringing these guys into the box. I've had a lot of success so far. And so let me show you the same exact, so I do my adjustments, okay, there's my defense. And I want you to watch how this plays now that I've moved those corners a little bit outside the corner route. Now what you're gonna see is that corner will jump the route and basically intercept it. 
Okay, nine times out of a 10, that's gonna be an interception. If they try to force feed that corner, you're gonna have a lot of success intercepting the route. The reasoning behind it is because the quarter, the outside quarter zone is basically reading, oh, it's a corner route, and I'm gonna keep my outside leverage on that corner route. So it's gonna help you stop that corner route. I wanna give you one other way to stop it real quick um, before we get out of here, um, because I think it's really important. So, cause you might be saying, well, that's really good, but I don't have time to manually move players. So this is kind of the second, uh, or the second version of the tip, or I guess technically third version of the tip, but a third way that you could stop this, okay? So big nickel, and we're gonna use cover four quarters, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to deuce close, and we're gonna go to whatever play, bench, okay? And all we're gonna do now is we're gonna pinch our D-line, show blitz, okay? It's gonna bring our safeties in the box. Really important to bring at least this guy down, I think. Very important, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna baseline show blitz, okay? Uh, just baseline show blitz, you're gonna sit right in here, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Um, I would recommend go ahead and to the wide side of the field, go ahead and put that cloud flat, that Mabel concept basically. Um, I just think it's helpful. Um, so you'll see this is kind of what we're looking at right here. And now I want you to watch the corner route to the right side. So you're gonna see, and now I have really good outside leverage. They match onto him. And if they're gonna be able to complete it, it's a tight throw. Um, and then I wanna give you just one other little thing that you can do off of that baseline concept. Uh, from a compression set. If you ever have any issues with compression, this is one of my favorite things to tell people. Um, it's still very good in this year's game. So what we're gonna do, same exact look, except now we're gonna put those outside guys into cloud flat. So we got two inside quarters and we got two cloud flats on the outside. And I want you to watch how this is gonna defend bench. That 30 yard zone drop gets out there really well. And as you see, we're screaming off the edge uh, with that four man rush. But what you should also see, and real quick, we're just gonna take our user, kind of bring him down in here. I just wanna show you the bench corner. Pass lead left, and you see that cloud jumping, okay? So that's gonna, that, that's like two to three different ways that you can stop this. You saw the out route was covered with that underneath purple being a five, that's really important. Um, at least this year so far, I feel like we need to be at five yards, maybe until they fix the zones or whatever. But so far, I feel like we need to be at five yards, okay? Uh, that's just kind of my two cents on the game right now. But anyways, that is how I would recommend stopping the one of the best plays in the game, which is the, um, the bench concept out of Deuce Close. Now, you're going to ask, can you stop the run? You, you put yourself in a little bit of a runner disadvantage. You can. The Big Nickel has really good run defense. It's really the number one reason why I like it. Is because it has good pressure, but it also has really good run defense. So, anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. Be sure to be on the lookout for my Big Nickel Over G ebook that we're going to drop here in a couple of days, or uh, probably actually later today. Um, and just text the word Madden to 208 218 6900 if you want to get updates about the ebook or if you want to get some of my free stuff that I'm going to be releasing to just my text message members. I don't release that to public YouTube. I just release that to the text message members. So, again, if you want to sign up for that, it's completely free. Just text the word Madden to 208 218 6900.